Uh, hi, my name is Zach, and ever since I was really young, there's uh, always, sorry, always a saying that breakfast was the most important meal of the day. And my dad's actually a strong believer of this because he doesn't eat lunch, he just eats breakfast, and that's supposed to get him all the way until dinner. But since this saying was uh, around for such a long time and known by so many people, I always assumed it was true. But for my toy time project, I decided to question it. So for my toy time project, I put breakfast versus lunch. I wanted to test how mental acuity changes from not eating one of those. And to test mental acuity, I found this website called Human Benchmark. And on the website, there's four tests of number memory, reaction time, verbal memory, and visual memory. So these are screenshots. That one's number memory. There's reaction time. Uh, for verbal memory, it's they just show you a bunch of words, and you have to say if you've seen that word before or not. And there's uh, visual memory. For my project structure, um, I would take those four tests three times at six different intervals. And those intervals are uh, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 4.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and 10 p.m. And then uh, later, when I have time, I would put that data into Excel and make data tables. And then I'll make those data tables into graphs. But for my overall project structure, I'd start off with a control week to see the baseline of the scores. And then I would have a month of not eating breakfast. And then I would have a second control week to make sure the baselines are the same. And then I would have a, a month of not eating lunch. These are uh, pictures of the handwritten data tables I did. Because I didn't immediately put it into Excel after taking the tests. I wrote it on binder paper first. That is the data table from Excel, one of them. And that's one of the graphs I made. So there's four graphs for each test. So that means there's going to be four graphs for each like stage of my uh, project. And on the x-axis, it's going to be the time of the day. I think you should already know. But the y-axis is the test results. Um, so first thing I did was to make sure the two control weeks were similar. So the top row is the first control week, and the bottom row is the second control week. As you can see by the shapes of the lines, they're really similar, so that means the baselines are similar, which is good. But for breakfast and lunch in specific, for number memory, the effects of not eating lunch and the effects of not eating breakfast are really similar, because the median test values are both around like 9.6. So yeah, But for reaction time, not eating lunch increases your reaction time by a lot, which is not good. Uh, as you can see on 12 p.m. on the no breakfast month, uh, when reaction time would have gone down a lot. During the no lunch month, it actually increases. For number, uh, verbal memory, it's really similar to number memory because the average test results are really similar, which is about 65. So the effects of not eating lunch and the effects of not eating breakfast are similar. But for visual memory, the effects of not eating lunch uh, and the effects of not eating breakfast are different because not eating lunch decreases the average test value by a lot. You could easily see that the not eating breakfast average test value would be much higher. So breakfast and lunch have similar effects on number memory and verbal memory, but since lunch seems to have a much larger effect on uh, reaction time and visual memory, than breakfast does, I thought that uh, lunch is more important overall than breakfast. Hey, yeah, I'm done. <coughs> right, Allison. Did you have to say I'm out of seat? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, Okay, so when I was not eating breakfast, it was actually not that different than um, like the control weeks. I like a few days I was a little more hungry than usual, but that's about it. For the not eating lunch, uh, it's a, it's actually a lot harder than skipping breakfast because I felt hungry for like a really long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I think I ate the same amount.
Uh, no. Okay. Well, hold on to your data. Maybe one day you'll take statistics. I think it would be interesting to do uh, statistics to see if there's a statistically significant difference between the two. You can do a better test to see if, like, you have these graphs that show differences, but it'd be interesting to see, statistically speaking, if there is a difference. Okay. So, just something to follow up on really, you know, later on. All right, give me a minute.